Hi, I'm uh, Andrei Krenkov, and I'm here on behalf of the Stanford Vision Lab presenting DeformNet. So uh, 3 construction from a single image is one of the basic problems of computer vision, useful for robotics, VR, many other things. And in recent years, deep learning has been used to uh, make a lot of progress on it, right? Because uh, if you're constructing from a single image, there's no pixel correspondence you can use, and so it's useful to have a prior over what objects actually look like. But most of this work in deep learning for reconstruction has used the voxel representation, which is inefficient, and has gone directly from an image to a reconstruction, uh, which actually makes the problem harder than it needs to be. So uh, here we have three different ways you can approach reconstruction. Uh, one way is actually to do no actual reconstruction, but to have a set of known shapes and then just retrieve the most sim similar known shape f using the image. So that's on the left, retrieval. Uh, that's of course very limited because you need uh, far too many known shapes to be able to uh, find one that is similar enough to your image. Then beyond that is the generative model, where you go from image to reconstruction. So that's what most uh, current research does. Uh, and that one is hard because now you need to, just from a single image, infer all the properties of the object uh, from scratch. Uh, and um, yeah, current techniques don't do so well at this. Uh, so maybe there's a simplification. And that's the uh, third approach, our approach, which is shape retrieval plus deformation. So we have, uh, if we restrict ourselves to a set of known categories, so let's say one of our categories is chairs, we can use the image of the object, in this case a chair, to retrieve the most similar known template object, so uh, an object which we know with 3D shape, and then input both the image and this template to our uh, deep learning model, which we call DeformNet, in order to produce the uh, reconstruction. So that is our overall approach. Uh, briefly, uh, to describe how deformation is done, we are using a very old idea from computer graphics known as freeform deformation. Basically, you embed your object in a grid of points, and as you move the points around, it also deforms the object correspondingly. Uh, here we have kind of the control flow of how the format works. So we start in the top left with the input image. So this is the image of which you want to produce a reconstruction. Then we go uh, and retrieve our uh, template using a uh, similarity query. So that relies on existing techniques in metric learning. Having retrieved the template, we can then represent it in two different ways. We can represent it as voxels and as a point cloud. We use the voxel representation as input to a 3D encoder, uh, and we also input the original image of the object we want to reconstruct to a 2D encoder. And then you combine the encodings of both the image and the template uh, object, and input that to a decoder, which produces um, ultimately the offsets for the points in the freeform deformation control grid, which then defines the deformation. We then can deform the template object uh, using its point cloud representation to produce the final reconstruction. Uh, here in a little more detail is the actual model of DeformNet. So pretty much two encoders, one 2D encoder, one 3D encoder. We combine them and uh, input the combined encoding into a 3D decoder. And the only uh, really interesting bit is uh, we also use skip connections between the 3D encoder and the 3D decoder um, to simplify learning a bit. Uh, for training, we rely on synthetic data. So we use the ShapeNet data set with five different categories, which amount to uh, more than 22,000 total objects. And we render uh, images uh, of these many objects from different angles uh, for training and testing. So here's an example run through. So let's say we have an input of this chair, and we know its ground truth uh, shape is something like this. We can then retrieve this template, so similar type of chair, but a bit longer. And DeformNet produces this kind of output. So it deforms that template, squashes it, make it more, makes it more like the input. And then the final output is much more clearly like the ground truth than the template was. And here's more examples. So we can do this with cars, with uh, planes, with sofas, and so on. We also have shown that uh, DeformNet uh, gets quantitatively better metrics than the most uh, relevant other work, point side generation network, based on chamfer distance and orthomorphism distance. And then finally, there's a neat aspect here where um, 
you can uh, train with uh, sparse point clouds, but then actually apply those deformations to dense point clouds, which allows you to produce uh, mesh outputs that are relatively good, which is a problem that has not been addressed very much. So please come by in the post session, and thank you.